what's going on everyone and welcome to your 10th jquery tutorial and in this tutorial we'll be looking at an event method called text now in the last couple of tutorials i discussed in a very fast manner about event methods in jquery but now from now onwards let's take it a bit slow and steady so you can understand what's going on so here i have my jquery library and here i have my script so let's open the script uh, we have document.ready which waits for the document and let's say I create a div down here with ID my div let's nest it a bit so let's create another div my div 2 and let's say I am in div 2 and down here let's say I am in div 1 so let's open in this browser and here it is if I refresh this I get I'm in div 1 and I'm in div 2 so down here in the script let's use um, variable x to store the text inside my div 2 so let's say the selector is my div 2 id dot text now what it would do is it would the variable x would store all the text inside this my div 2 so let's console should be here and uh, let's alert this let's see what happens refresh and we get alert as i am in div 2 okay so the next thing let's alert out the text of my div yeah my div so let's refresh this and uh, we get text as i am in div 1 and i am in div 2 now let's say if i do my div dot html now here's the main difference between text and html and when i refresh this as you can see i get the html as well inside the first div so basically when we are using html then we are actually working with the html inside the element or to be more precise a selector but when we are working with text then it does not return us any html or any html code and thus it is kind of safe to eval code because it would not return the html inserted by the user for example let's say i create div id see this and copy me and let's create a span inside it span id or just a span this is some text and let's apply some styles to it so we can see the difference background yellow simple as that so if i refresh this okay so let's remove this for now if we refresh this as you can see we have this text as yellow now what we'll do is we'll create a copy of this and would insert this after this element down here so let's do it first of all we'll grab this element in the selector and we'll say the idc this dot next dot well, first of all let's create a variable x is equal to see this dot text or let's say text and our html is see this dot html now let's say we well, let's insert next or basically let's do after text now what would what would this do is it would insert this thing after this thing so basically we are inserting the text of see this after see this so let's see what happens let's refresh this and as you can see we get only text copied that means no html was copied because html the styles were applied to span tag and uh, which was as a result span tag was not copied and uh, now let's do html and once we replace it with html 
we get the HTML copied and thus the span tag is also copied so that's how text works text method in jQuery works and this is different from HTML one so this was a quick tutorial on text and HTML and we'll discuss some more event methods in our upcoming tutorials till then stay tuned with me and don't forget to subscribe